everybody, my name is Polypo, and let's get this party started with some more Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I don't want to die. I already did some inventory management, so hopefully... Yay, enhanced handgun. I, I made the executive decision to not have the handgun anymore. Can I go back? Thank you. Uh, I just want to store my eh. Just want to store my handgun bullets. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> I thought I stored. All... Oh, did I store my? What did I store? <laughs> I thought I stored enhanced bullets. I apparently had some leftover handgun ammo. I have so much handgun ammo. I just figured it was unimportant to have that many bullets. When I can have a machine gun and a grenade launcher. I hope my screen doesn't do the thing it was doing last time. It might. So if I die, I blame everything else but me. That's that's the way to play, right? It, it's everyone else's fault, not mine. Okay. We cool. Uh, do I want to hold on to it? You know what? I think I'm good. I still have a bit of lag, and I think it's just because I'm not running at optimal settings. <laughs> I'll accept that. It's my fault. I accept my fate. I hear humming. I don't see anybody, though. That is unsettling. <laughs> Can I go over here? Oh. God dang it, 44 mag. Is she singing the song in the beginning? Because it sounds like the song from the beginning. I also hope that I'm not... Ugh. Die, little girl. Die. Oh, you think you're so tough. With your emo. Ah! I'm a man. A true barbarian. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> A true fighter! I can't go back, can I? I am a true man and a warrior! <laughs> I got a little... I got a little skunked. I accept that. I was getting cocky. Oh! Give me that ganja. Who hasn't done that joke before, am I right? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna so get pinched. <laughs> Please, nothing behind me. Sir. Please. Ah! You! You! I could have probably just ran. I don't like running. I don't... I don't like that... Uh... Sense of... Just... You know... Uneasiness. Uh... I'm just gonna shoot this. Yay! It's worth it! <laughs> if I can do this... All with shoddy! Oh... Shoddy for the win! Nothing behind me, right? Here's Shoddy. Okay. I also want to say... Burner fuel, shotgun ammo. I'll accept the shotgun ammo. Don't like the burner fuel. <laughs> uh, This would be a terrible place to get caught in. He 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 he. No! 
No! I shot you! You should have been dead! Ah! Your fate should have been sealed along with all your friends! I'm wasting so many bullets. Like... Prime Resident Evil players are just writhing. They're just like, no, the bullets! You'll need them for later! <laughs> uh, also, I'm probably missing so much stuff. None of this feels safe, though. Like, I feel like if I stop, I'll die. <laughs> We cool? We cool? Is this like a, a breather? Can I can I get a breather? More or less like an itch. You know, it's cool that they gave me this. I can now make another one. Okay. Kill Evelyn with the Okay, so my goal is still the same. Mmm I still have the mag ammo. I have no shotgun shells. That's false. Okay, that's that's true. <laughs> I thought I had more than two. You know, I'm not feeling comfortable with this. I I don't like how it just stopped. Yep. See, this is the thing I was talking about. I don't I don't like how it just stopped. That was freaking huge. Look at that thing. I went in between his legs! <laughs> Please, explode. Explode. Die. Sir! Sir! Is he dead? Okay. I used up all of my resources. <laughs> okay, not all. Most, not all. But I'm hoping, I'm praying that this is the end. I know that this has gone way longer than I would have thought it would have been. But that's kind of cool. I like that it they, they sit you for that whirl, you know? that This final... This is so a waste. I have the knife, I could just switch, but... I have 274 bullets. I'm shooting one. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, I'm a little hurt. I'm gonna heal. I don't like I don't like being in the little hurt stage because that leads into a lot of hurt, and then that leads to I'm dead. So I have three bullets. Yeah, it's machine gun time. This is America. Actually, the shotgun's probably more American than anything. I don't... Well, there's probably a plenty of Murricans that have machine guns. Um, anything cool? Coolness? Please, no more. Please. Oh, there's a safe spot up ahead. That's either good or bad. But please. No more. U uno mas. Uno mas. Oh no, Mars! <laughs> Scoochie. Scoo I am surprised, and I thought I was gonna have to open mouth, insert foot. Um. So look at that! And they'll just give it to me! They give me a map that I don't need, too, but you know, I'll, I'll accept the bullets. But, um. Yeah, like. What was I even talking about? <laughs> Uh, I'm, oh yeah, I'm surprised they didn't pull anything in one of these, like, these, like, uh, sliding moment things. Like, you know, you do the, eh, eh. Um, we're back in the basement. We're back in the basement. Yay. <laughs> okay. They're not going to give me a moment to go to a, um, oh, ooh. She's not in her wheelchair anymore. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's bad. That's, that's a lot of bad. I'm sure of it. Good old memory lane. It's not here. 
I think this is the oh, end. God. I I feel I feel the end approaching. So okay, so ooh, I almost missed you. Bam. I'm sure I missed plenty of them. Uh like I missed the one on the Oh no, yeah, I got that one on the ship. To my knowledge, I have gotten every single one. That is locked. I can no go. E001, that's the that's the thing. Yeah. I knew it. I I knew it. Well, I didn't know before, but I knew now when I when they gave me the serum as Mia. <laughs> cool. I like this. I like this, uh, like, coming to a close, you know, you, you're ending where you started. If this is the ending. It feels very ending-y. I know I, I, I haven't said that enough. Oh, that'd be, that'd be really interesting if I found stuff. Like, oh, geez. Where there was no stuff before. You okay there? Honey? Uh, I'll kill you. I'd shoot you, but that would be a waste. And I am all about efficiency. Excuse me for one moment. I have to clean up for our big date. Our daddy-daughter date. Or whatever. Are those a thing? <laughs> Almost like a family date. Kind of like family get together, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, am I gonna see her get up? Probably. This is clearly a memory. Hey, get out of here. This is your fault. Uh, <sighs> I mean, define f my fault. Okay, I'm not finding anything. Or maybe I am, and that was just the past. Is there stuff here now? I'm delaying the inevitable because I'm scared. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm not really scared anymore. I think that's probably the most interesting thing about this game is that... Okay, open ma open mouth, insert foot. Uh, that, I mean, that's not, a s that's not settling, but it's not unsettling. <laughs> um, but yeah, like... I'm not scared anymore. I'm I'm not worried cuz I'm holding a giant gun with 422 bullets. <laughs> Actually no, 486 bullets. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's me. It, it's not okay. I remember this. I specifically remember this. But you shouldn't have done that. So is this a memory? Or is this Ow. Then he can die. Yeah, like is this a memory or is this Mommy's turn to kill you? Is this a like hallucination because I'm infected? Cause they said that that was a thing. Do I go upstairs? <laughs> That's where I had to go before. I'm slightly frightened because there's an evil child. And... What? Who? Don't turn your flashlight off. This place is evil. Oh, what? I'm gonna take my hand off the mouse there for a minute. <clears throat> I'm guessing I need to... I don't remember this. <clears throat> also, I feel my voice going. Perfect time, right? Um, I don't remember this part specifically. Quite the opposite. In <laughs> You're not me! Uh. <laughs> Then. Not playing. Oh snap! 
Get that away from me! Ah! Ah! She got a chainsaw! That's a giant doll! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Whoa! 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 Uh, oh, okay. Stay away. Uh, come on. Ow. Am I just supposed to... I can't move. I cannot fight this. Am I supposed to run? Get away. Uh, this is hard. Like, am I supposed to... Ah. No, no. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I got her. No, no, no! It's the end. It's all over. It looks like somebody spat on my screen. You. Yeah, I. Okay, he sounded shocked. Ooh, you're a little goopy, Grandma. That's mean. Okay, this goes both ways. I can feel sorry for her, but... Uh... Oh, no! Unleash all the bullets into your gob hole. Reload. Hello. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna hope that this hurts you. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, well, okay, it's scripted, I think. Whee! Where am I going? Oh, I'm, I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside now. <clears throat> am I dead? Wow, that would be anticlimactic. <laughs> no! I'm not dead yet. Die, Grandma! <laughs> okay, aim for the face. Avoid the arms. You got that right, Grandma. Reload. Do I... Ow! Stop it, Grandma. Do I have to shoot her? Ow! <laughs> no! I love you, ground. Come back. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Douche. Move, bro. Can I switch? I am so dead. Ah. Oh, no. Blah. <laughs> I broke my spleen. <laughs> I am getting pummeled! Use it! Use what? That? What is it? Crawl, little man! It says Albert something. Isn't that one of the scientists? Ah! Shoot, Grandma! Ah! One for the show. <laughs> I was trying to match the. Ah, never mind. <laughs> hey, I'm not dead. Though there's a crumbled grandma on my foot. Grandma is kind of crushing my legs at the moment. I'd like to back up now. Okay, I think I won! <laughs>
Yay! Playing it safe, the nightmare is finally over, and end of the night. I don't know what those three achievements are, but I'm gonna find out after this. <laughs> Probably for, like, completing the game on normal, beating Evelyn, and, like, I don't know. Saving a bajillion times. Playing it safe, you know. You got a lot of flares on you. Like a lot of flares. <laughs> I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found you. I'm gonna guess it's Chris Redfield. The fuck took you guys so long. Yeah. Also, how would I know who they are? Isn't Umbrella or Stars or all of them? Isn't this supposed to be undercover, like secret? <laughs> Hey, I'm not alone. We can both have nightmares about this. I'm glad. Did I? Yeah! We did it! This looks really good. These look like really rendered, well done scenes. Live action when gameplay. When one door closes, another opens. When one, one door closes, door close tonight. Evelyn opens the other one and what a long night it was but not just for me me and i weren't the only victims here so were the bakers. so pretty it was that yeah Evelyn, bakers didn't want to do what they did but umbrella no, co why is it blue and these guys are here to clean is up that like place. a new branch i had just come to terms with losing mia but now she's back and wants to start over all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Yay! I'm gonna guess that there's a bad ending. Because if I gave the uh, stuff to Zoe, would I be with her? Like, would she be okay? But my wife is dead? Is this a secret? Is Oh no, it's okay, it's credits. Yay! So I did it! I beat Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. It took way more episodes than I thought it would, but you know, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's the journey. So, um This is weird. So I read that one paper as Mia that this is 16 years after the raccoon incident. So, Raccoon City is done. It got all quarantined, zombies happened. Where does this take place on the timeline then? Because Chris was in five and then there was six. I don't know where this takes place. Or if this is a reboot and the Raccoon City thing, it's back to there and then this takes place after that. I don't know. I, I have no idea. That's a creepy doll. That's an even creepier doll. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like those are my only questions. Is Where does this take place on the timeline? Because I read that article weird magazine thing that said 16 years after raccoon city so that's my really only like mind-boggling thing at the moment the whole evelyn getting free crashing you know that's all monster goopiness and it all makes sense in a way um yeah like because that's always been the case, right? With Resident Evil games is um, unloved person becomes monster, feel sorry for them in a way. I forget, like in Resident Evil 1, they had, um, I forget her name, but she's like a test subject. 
And so, like, she's a villain, but she's not supposed to be a bad villain. She's supposed to be a very, like, misunderstood, like, super villain. <laughs> this game was great, though. I highly recommend it. I know that, okay, so I beat it in nine-ish hours, I believe. I hope that it tells me at the end. That's, to me, this game could probably, I think there's an achievement for beating it in like five hours. Um, so clearly there's some sort of replayability, you probably get stuff, um, probably, I don't know. Um, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but, um, it's really fun, it's really fun, it really comes back to the roots of like a horror game, like, and it's not just like a Outlast kind of horror game or a Amnesia horror game where it's like you're a dude with no guns, you can't fight back. Like in this game you can fight back. But something about having the means to kill something but knowing that you're wasting countless bullets is almost more scary than not being able to fight. <laughs> Cuz there was m multiple counts in this game I thought I wasn't going to have means to finish because I wasted so many bullets and so much healing and I almost ran out. And I felt like I was going to have to restart. Um, some people probably would have. Some people probably would have watched my gameplay and cried inside because of how many headshots I missed or how many accidental... Um, uh, you know, healing I took. They probably would have had a minor aneur aneurysm and just um, just cried at night being like, he failed, he sucked, and he failed, and it's his fault that I'm like this. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, like, I like that kind of horror. horror -er -er -er. Uh... <laughs> Along with um, the series that's playing with this, um, Detention. Detention's another really good one. Um, I'm not going to talk about Detention because I still got to finish that. But Resident Evil, it had the same kind of elements. It had good sound. It had atmosphere. It had just this... It had a very mysterious story to it. So you're like, I don't even know what I'm fighting. Am I fighting a ghost? Because <laughs> like it felt very... The way that Evelyn was perceived, she was perceived as almost spirit, like a spiritual thing, like a very like, she just appears and does whatever, but then they piece it all together on how it's not actually a ghost, it's not actually the boogie, you know, stuff, the molded are in fact a fungus, <laughs> and um... And Evelyn is just doing hallucinations through mind gobbledygook. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. For 60 bucks, unless you bought the Deluxe Edition, uh, so far there's only been one release of DLC, and that's The Bedroom. I don't know if it's out yet. I, it might be. If it is, I have to play that next. <laughs> Yay! Um, but yeah, like, for 60 bucks, you get about 10 hours of gameplay. Don't know if the DLC is free or not, such as the bedroom or whatnot. If it is, that'd be cool. It would kind of bolster the fact that you're paying 60 bucks. 60 bucks is a steep price for 10 hours of gameplay, but the gameplay what is what really makes you feel like you get your money's worth. I mean, it's good. It's better than good. It's great. It's fantastic. The credits go on forever so that I get to talk to you. <laughs> I didn't think that this episode would be an hour, but it's probably going to end up an hour. Um, but yeah, it, it really makes up for the fact, for the price. Um, and I heard stories i don't know if it's true that after the credits they signify that there's dlc i don't know if that means that there's like a cutscene or and in that case that's even cooler they they're coming out with dlc fairly quickly 
whether or not it's worth sixty dollars is a it's not up to me to say but i think it is worth the time to put towards it maybe get it on a sale you know maybe get it for forty dollars you know a little closer to home uh but to wait if it's like a dollar an hour you're never gonna play this game because like um it's probably never gonna get under there it's probably gonna stay like thirty dollars until we're all 80 year old men and women <clears throat> voiceover directors kalichiro mishaja i don't know akini ma i don't know <laughs> i butchered those names so bad uh, a lot of people worked on this, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I highly suggest it. I suggest... I never heard this soundtrack. Or wait, no! Yeah, this is the soundtrack that you hear, um... When you fight your first fatty dude. The barnyard fight with Lucas. That's the weirdest part! Where was Lucas? Did I kill Lucas? Was he like... I know I'm thinking to myself, but was he, um... Was he the boss fight with, um... Jack? W where they turned... I'm guessing... Because there was a lot of eyeballs. Did they, like, go-go Power Ranger Mega Morph into, like, a big dude? That would make sense, but I don't know. <clears throat> that would be that would be kind of cool though, if they did a DLC where Lucas is still alive. <laughs> that would suck though. Though I think what they're trying to say now though is that because you killed Evil and everyone would be dead anyway, it wouldn't matter if I killed them or not. A matter of fact, that's what makes this <laughs> that's what makes that even worse. I didn't have to kill the family. Because, I mean, they're an obstacle, of course, but the moment I would have killed Evelyn, they would have all died anyway. Because the once the infection gets too far gone, if you inject them with the serum, and I imagine the same goes for if you kill Evelyn, you know, the host can't connect and whatnot, and they just... Pfft. So they would have died anyway, <laughs> like it wouldn't have mattered. So I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of what I was going for with Lucas. On how it'd be interesting to see him reoccur, unless they came up with some sort of loophole. Which isn't the first time. Look at all these people! How can you not love this game? A bajillion companies worked on it. Um, yeah. I guess, in the end, if I had to s do a synopsis of anything, the game is the most primal version of a horror game that you could get to nowadays. Most games are all based on jump scares, you know, a lot of gore and decapitation. It's almost like a movie where they'd think that if they just rip apart a dude and, bah, you know, it'll make you scared, but in fact you're just like, okay. <laughs> but now they're actually going back to the roots. Global promotion manager Tsum uh, Tsutomu Masuda. I hope that was correct. I'm so sorry, Masuda. Hey, are we done? Nope, it's still going. These credits are long. <laughs> I've been talking for like 30 minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> Dolvery, Louisiana, Sunday, June tw 25th, 2014. There they are. They all look super real, except for Jack. Jack looks like the most, like... Who's calling me? What? I heard that. It sounded like a, um... A, like a, a vibrate phone. Like a phone on a desk. Bzz. I heard it. Yeah, I spent nine hours playing this. Totally positive you could play this faster than me. I started nine times? 
Are they cool? Uh, is that like deaths? I I would totally agree with that. I missed five. Uh, Mr. Everywhere's. I missed files. I missed three antique coins. I opened a ton of boxes. Huh. Where would the files have been? I looked everywhere. At least I think I looked everywhere. I apparently didn't. I missed four pages? Uh, yeah. Oh, three. Blah, blah. 29, 30, 31, 32. Um, I... Guess I missed something. I guess that means I could go back. Probably not going to. <laughs> Weapon! Albert 01R will be added to the item box in the main game. Do I click? Item, the secrets of defense. Does that go with my coin? Additional free content, not a hero. Okay, coming spring 2017, so it's free. So right there, Again, depending on how long the content is, it's kind of cool that they're doing stuff like that. They're kind of giving back. So there you have it. That is Resident Evil 7. Whew. Is there any stuff? Nope. Okay. I'm not going to mess with anything uh, like that. So, I will most likely try to do the DLC, of course. Because I like the game. Um even though it tried to scare the pants off of me. But I won't be doing any multiple playthroughs. I won't be, at least not on the channel. Uh, I won't be doing any, like, Madhouse difficulties. Won't be doing any multiple endings, if there are any. I don't know if Zoe has any difference. Um... But if that is a thing, I won't do it. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Because that means I'd have to replay it again, and th no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, But that just gives you more of an incentive to play it yourself. Which I always like that. I always like it when there's a thing that somebody can watch a playthrough of and still be all like, I kind of want to do it this way, and so they can play it themselves. So, I hope that you like this series as much as I did. If you did, do your thing down below, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and I will see you in the next party and the next episode. Bye!